Hello, I'm Sean Hoddy and this is another edition of Lockdown Aikido. So over the past few months, and it is months now, we've been do, we've gone through the Randra no Kata, Randra no Kata Uruwaza, Koryudai Ich, and Koryudai San. We missed the other Koryas, we've done Dai San really because Dai San is part of the downgrade syllabus. Um, some time ago, one of our members joked, hoped in this lockdown we don't end up doing the uh, right the way through to the Koryodai Roku. So now today we're going to start on the Koryodai Ni. <clears throat> so as mo most of you know who participate in Tamiki Aikido, there are six Koryo no Katas. Started from Daiichi to Koryodai Roku. As I said we've covered, covered the Daiichi, so now we're going to do the Koryodai Ni. So the first technique is called Katati Muchi Katakatami. So Katakatami, this is not a throw, this is a strangle. So we are actually strangling our rookie rather than throwing him with a nagi waza. And this is the link to judo and also dato ru with these type of techniques. So Katati Muchi means one-handed grasp. So from here, I'm grasping my hand like so. So Uki will be grasping my left hand with their right hand. And from here, I move forward and I'm doing this. I'm letting this elbow bend. I'm grasping. Their little finger as I move. So from here I start to move. This brings their elbow into this position. As the elbow's in the air, I come forward. So imagine their elbow's there, coming around their neck. From here now, I'm leaning my neck in and I strangle. So this is pushing onto their head. My hips are in tight. I'm in a good sound posture and I strangle them. So once more from the front, so as I grasp from here, I turn my, I make sure my hand turns. That allows this elbow to bend. Obviously if I'm this way, the elbow will bend down. I need it to bend up. Now most of the time we say long arms in Aikido, but this time I'm stepping and I'm doing this. And then from here, I'm bringing this out. So from here, then I step in, apply the strangle. Uki then starts to go out, taps, and I let him fall. So I'm not throwing as such. So from here, one, two, head in. This head must go tight on theirs. Because if you haven't got your head in, as you strangle, their head will move. We need to lock their head with my head. And then as I apply the strangle on the neck, there's no movement in the head to take the strangle off. So from here, turn the hand. One, starting to break the balance and I step through my right foot. So we're here, we're breaking the balance, step through my right foot, and then from there, I lock. Yeah, so locking, locking that strangle through. So from here, this side, so if we look at the, the hand position, we're going to there. I gr I'm grasping their little finger, I'm grasping their, their hand as I move through. From here now I set forward my right foot, I come through and I apply the lock. They tap, then they drop to the floor. So katati muchi, kata katami, katami, hold or pin, or hold bar. So in a hold, we hold it. <clears throat> and this hold is strangling looky. And from there. Tap and they drop. We release. So from 
this side as they grasp, make sure the hand turns. This allows us to come in to break the balance. So what, what that's the, he's doing is doing that. So my arm's in that position. Then I'm fitting in my, my arm now. As the Tory, so I'm taking this is Hookie's role. So as the Tory, my arm comes round and then I'm applying the, the pressure strangling. Yeah, so I'll be in this position, putting the strangle on, tap and pull. <coughs> so from here, as they grasp the movement forward, breaking the balance. So we're getting that action, breaking that balance. I need to get under that elbow. So the elbow has to come into the air, so we're here. Breaking that balance. Then from here I'm stepping through. I apply the pressure. And I, I lock. If I continue to apply the pressure, they would actually pass out. So I apply the pressure, they tap, and they fall over. So one more from the front. So as they grasp, we turn come through, so we're breaking the balance. So from there, I step forward, pushing with my head on them, locking, yeah, locking at a strangle. They tap, then they drop. One, two, <clears throat> and they go. So I'm not trying to throw them we need to show the katakatami. We need to show the katakatami technique, which is the, the pin, the strangle. And there we go. So very important as we move, as we say, turning that hand. Use this to grasp their hand if you can. That keeps them, keeps the tension on. Move, grasp, step through, pin. Okay, so next technique in the sequence is Ryoti Mushi Gaiku Gamiati, and this is a two handed grasp, and so they're grasping here, as they start to grasp I move, turning my upper hand, or turning my right hand, palm up, so my right hand goes palm up, my left hand comes palm down, and if you look I'm turning these hips, so I'm not just trying to force my way through here, relaxing, and then from here I change and I throw. So it's a guy called Gamiati. And if you look, this hand is coming across, <clears throat> pushing into their body. So that's actually trapping, trapping that hand into their tummy area. This hand where it turns, so it allows me go into where the grip is weak. So I'm not trying to force on, on a straight arm from here, I'm turning. This allows them, this arm, the rookie's arm, will go into this position and then it's easy to bend. If it's that position, it, it won't bend, they will lock it out. Here, you can move in to bend. So here, throw. <coughs> And as they attack, they'll be attacking in left posture. So from here, as they attack, move in, using the hips, drive through. So it's this action using the hips. Very important. And we do these when we practice 
That's Tandakundu type movements using the hips. So as they grasp, as we feel that grasp come in, as it starts to grip, we're not letting them grip tight, so you have to really work hard, even though you can get out of it by working hard. But if we let the fingertips get there and just draw them off posture, and we're turning those hips, and then we turn back in and throw. This is pushing on their tummy, and this one is coming across as a normal guy to a ganyati. So Wayo Chimuchi, two-handed grip, very left posture. So as they grasp, I'm starting to turn these hips. Very important, turn these hips, and then from here, I step forward. So from this angle, as they grasp, turn the hips, drive. So from here, they're coming into an attack. As they attack, I draw them off line. So here, drawing off line, throw. Now, if someone really establishes their self and you can't move, you have to nullify the attack. And you can do that just by turning those hips. And what that's doing, if they're really strong, you're just drawing them off into that direction. But ideally, when you're practicing this kata, you want to move as, as they are grasping. As they get that grasp on, that's when you're moving. We're not establishing the game. <coughs> move. Push. Move. So as I said, they're standing in left posture, they're grasping. As they move, turn those hips, make sure the hands turn as well. Then that allows you to trap this across their tummy. And this hand comes across into a normal drive cue type technique. So as they grasp, turn those hips. So our hips are turning and the hips are doing the throw. And throw. So the thing is, is to practice with your rookie, which we can't do at the moment for social distancing. If we can build up that movement, and again, as we turn our arms, come straight, long arms. We're not trying to throw here, won't work. So as we move, hips are throwing. And there, a nice posture when we finish. We start to throw them, they're falling over, and we're in a nice posture. Okay, so the next technique is Ryoji Mochi Iminagi. So this time, <coughs> they are attacking with their right foot forward. So Fuki is attacking right footed. So as they attack, again we use our hips, and we turn and this one comes over. So from here, it's my right hand, Crosses over, and then from here, I start to circle, take the pincer of the neck, come down, control him with that pincer, and then from through with the throw. And we always maintain that control with that pincer. So we do it slowly, so as they grasp, they've got their right foot forward. So what I'm doing, I'm breaking their balance that way. So as they as they grasp, I'm doing this, this action. So from here they grasp, here move, let go from 
circular to linear, grasp in the back of the neck so the pincer is controlling them. And I maintain that pincer control all the way through the throw. So from there, so if you're pushing down, they want to start to rise. As they start to rise, I maintain that pincer and I'll throw with Ernie Nagy. If you look, it's all centre. So the head's there, so it's all centre. So if you imagine, that's the back of their neck. I'm controlling as I come through. And maintain that control on the throw. My arm comes dead centre of my body, or thereabouts, in my centre line. So as I grasp, if you can imagine, I'm moving, so this is their arm, back of the head, the pincer, they start to rise, I maintain that pincer, and I throw them. So I can go from this way. So I move one, maintaining that pincer, so it has to be strong as they start to rise. So that's pressure. Yeah, we put pressure on the side of the neck. So we're, we're here, we're holding in there. We're not just slapping on the back of the neck, there's pressure holding them down. Pressure. And here we throw, maintaining that pincer pressure as well. And if you look, this is in the centre of my body. It's not a clothesline. We're not trying to throw here. We often see in Tamiki Aikido that people are doing clotheslines and they sort of do funny little circles all the time. The really negative type techniques, it's what? So circular, then into linear to break their balance. Then we get the throw. So once again, so from here, they're grasping, we're moving, circular, linear. So from the other side, or from the other angle rather, <coughs> they're grasping. You can imagine they're doing this. This hand comes over the top, the right hand goes over the top of the left, and then from here, a circle. Right. There. So it's pressure on the back of the neck, so it's gone from a circular action into a linear action. And from here, a throw. And we're maintaining strong posture. So, with some styles of Aikido, they actually drop a lot and bend. In our system with the Yerli Nagi, we're controlling here. So, long arms, control, we go through. So, from the front, both hands are grasped. That's why Uchi Muchi. Come here. Right comes over, we scoop, as we scoop, we're breaking their balance that way, into linear action, straight arm, and we throw. Okay, that shirt this way, so right arm comes over, linear action, and we throw. And with your head, make sure you're looking Where you want them to go. If your head's straight, your posture is generally strong and upright. Okay, so we'll have a recap of those <coughs> three because they're, they're in a way a little set. <coughs> there are 16 techniques in the uh, Dying Lee. I'll break it down in over three sessions. The first one, Katati Mochi, Katakatami, here. Here we step, 
strangle, they go out, and we let them go for the fall. <coughs> so if a strangle's going on, those who have done judo will understand, just tap. So once again, one, two, they've tapped, I release, they fall. Next one, Royalty Muchi Daiku Gamiati. So from here, this time they are grasping the left posture. So from here, as they grasp, I move and I flow. So I'm blending the action, making sure this hand's up. My right palm must be up. What that allows me is to get in because it allows me to bend Uki's arms. This hand, the left hand, does that. The palm comes that way and it allows you to bend the other arm because that comes across the body. So we've got one going here and one going here. So they grasp, fix, throw. That's nice and solid. <coughs> so we're not turning and trying to pull with our arms, it's all together. Something's got to move together. If you try and do that, you end up using strength. Or if you do that, you're using strength and you lose your centre. You just keep that centre line. And you throw, it maintains. <coughs> so centre line, very important. Third one, Royalty Muchi Irunagi. So from here, again your centre line. So they grasp, they come through, centre, 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 throwing back into centre. So very important points on this one is the peaks of movement. So you use that neck to drive down. So as I start to move, I'm starting to move in my arm's length. I take the back of the neck, drive this down. Naturally, they would want to come up, so we release slightly, let them come up, maintain that pincer again, ready for the throw. So once again, so from here, move, Draw down and we throw. Okay, so the next techniques are um, Ryoti Mochi, so they're two handed grips, but Yushira Waza. So Yushira Waza is grasping from the rear. So this technique is Yushira Waza, Ryoti Mochi, Kotagash. So from here they're grasping. So what's happening? This way. They're grasping with the right, and they're coming round to grab the left. So if you can imagine they're grasping here, and they're going to come round to get this one. Now don't get into the habit of leaving this hand behind, because they're going to grasp that. So we want to leave it here. Now with this form of Kotagash, many of you are familiar with a Dayon, where in the Dayon we do this and we move and throw. With this technique, as it's slightly different, as they grasp, so from here, as they grasp, they turn. And then from here, push my weight down, so I, I drop using my hips, grasping their wrist, and I'll take round, it's a linear movement back in, a, in to go to gash. So from here, as they take, as they take what I'm doing, I'm here, grasp, start to grasp, pull this out. So I'm stretching around the front. And then from here I step back. 
with my left leg and I'll apply to the gash. That's a very linear type of technique. So the official, uh, the, the uh, initial first action is as they come round to grasp, I turn my hips and I'm dropping my weight. So there, I'm coming through, through, dropping my weight, and we throw. And again, nice posture while we finish, upright position. So from the front, as they, as they come round, I turn my hips, draw them round. So I'm pulling this out, arm's length, and from here, I throw, cut the gash. As I come round, turn my hips, draw out, throw. So they're grasping right hand with their right, coming round with their left hand to grasp here. So as they grasp, what I do, I turn my, what, what they're going to do, they're going to do this. So I turn my body in. So from here, I turn my body, and then from here, what I do, I drop my weight slightly, dropping my weight, taking this down, and then we throw. So it's a very linear version. Here as they move round, turn, drop, throw. So right to right, left to left, so they move round. So from here, as they're moving round to this position, I turn. This comes through, it allows me to take that wrist away, and here now, I move them round, and then I step back. It's a lot easier with an hooky. So from here, they're grasping, hip turn, and then from here, I drop my weight slightly there, drawing hooky round, and then apply the lock. Okay, so the next technique is Yushiro Waza Juji Garami Nagi. So this time they're coming in left hand grab the right hand. So left to left, the right comes round. So exactly, exactly a reverse of what we've just done. So from here, I step forward, then I come through. This applies So what we're doing, we're throwing them like this, basically, we're crossing their arms. So if you can imagine, as they attack, I need to move forward, from here, turn. The thumb locks, and we throw. So from here, it's important to use the thumbs as well. So as I go through, you look, this thumb comes down, this thumb comes up, so what we're doing there, we're, we're doing an entangled arm lock. And we're trying to, we're trying to like this. So now we move forward, the chudan. So 
So we move forward, shoot down, then we go gay down. Uh, sorry. Jaw down. So start shoot down, up into jaw down. Hip turn, back. Quite linear. This allows you then to apply the throw. These long arms, must have long arms for these techniques. If you try and do all this short, you're never going to get anywhere. So you need some long arms. So if we go through, the long arms. Walk all the way through with the techniques. And they're rolling off with a rolling brake for. So from the front, as they grasp, we move. Again, all long arms. So from here as we move, one, a step back, stretching them out, locking, and throw away, all in one action. So from here as they come through, one, two, three. Nice posture when we finish. So from this side, the grass move back. From this side, up, move. Okay, so to maintain those type of hip movements, when we practice, if we practice Unsuku and Tandakundu, um, we'll also maintain those centralised hip movements. So, centralization of the arms rather than just using the arms without using the hips so very good exercise to practice okay thank you very much that concludes my class for today <laughs>